Have you ever been creatively blocked by a naysayer? Somebody that was a critic, a voice in a crowd that just made you cringe and want to stop whatever you were creating. Now, I want to talk about a way to move past naysayers. I remember when I was in film school, I had a mentor that I came to to do an independent study project. I gave him my 25 page script. He looked at it and said, wow, this is a, a really ambitious project and there's no way you're ever going to accomplish this this semester. I was crushed in the moment, but I also felt creatively challenged. I thought like, wow, he, he thinks this is impossible. What if I could prove him wrong? Now, I had this 25 page script. I needed to get 20 plus actors, all of these crazy locations. And at the end of the semester, I actually completed this short film. Woo! I, I was so excited and my mentor was really impressed by my work. I learned a ton in the process. Had I had known how hard it would be, I probably would have pared it down. But there was something about the challenge that he offered me. Naysayers are not all bad. I think that we should learn to embrace our critics. I'm reminded of the story of a, a group of Boy Scouts who walked into an unpopular politician's office. This is a, a governor of an unnamed state. And in his office were actually all framed newspaper clippings and political cartoons of essentially all of his critics putting him down, uh, making fun of the decisions that he made. And this politician just surrounded himself with opposition. And it made me think, if we're able to surround ourselves with oppositional voices and maintain the kind of confidence in our own decision-making process, that's the kind of artists that we need to be in this world, especially those of us that endeavor to do meaningful work, that are standing for, for good and positive in the world. So as you take these next steps, you may find that your audience is peppered with critics. What are you going to do about it? Will you let them crush you? Will you let them block you from moving forward in your endeavors? Or will you take their challenge and take yourself to the next level and come from a centered place of confidence in your choices as a creative? Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. Please visit us at www.greenheart.tv and subscribe for weekly inspirational updates like this. And I can't wait to see you next week.